Hey guys and welcome back to Music 61 and 61A. Today in rhythm we're going to cover dotted quarter notes and eighth notes. So you may remember from 3-4 meter that the dotted half note becomes three beats, right? Because you have a half note as two beats, you add the dot, the dot adds half of the value of the note to the note. So it would add one more beat, and then you'd get a total um, beat value of three for a dotted half note. Well, for a dotted quarter note, it's the same idea. A uh, quarter note is one beat, and then you're going to add a half of a beat to it. So a dotted quarter note is like one and a half beats. So in order to complete two full beats with a dotted quarter note, you need to add an eighth note or its equivalent, maybe an eighth note rest or two sixteenth notes. Um, but to complete two full beats, you have to have a dotted quarter note plus an eighth note usually. Quarter note, dotted quarter note and eighth note. You can see my quarter note here has a dot and it's always paired with an eighth note. And if you imagine that that dot is an actual other eighth note, then I would say T on that. So it would be ta, ti, ti. So I kind of combine my syllables sometimes and I go ta, i, ti to give the dotted quarter note the extra eighth note value. Ta, i, ti. Or you can just hold ta for one extra half beat. So ta, ti, like that. The main point is that this is a two beat rhythmic element and it needs to be combined. So again, a dotted quarter note plus an eighth note or the equivalent. Here's how it would sound with conducting. Ta -i -ti, ta -i -ti, ta -ti, ta -ti, ta -ti, ta -ti, ta -ti. Okay, so looking at the first rhythm, we are in 3-4. Tempo is 120, and I'm starting mezzo piano. Now, 3-4, remember, divides unequally into two beats plus one beat, or one beat plus two beats sometimes. Most of the time, though, it's two beats plus one beat. And so if we'll go to the, this is a pickup note, um, the pickup quarter note here um, that I've got boxed. Well, if we go to the first measure after that, we've got two beats, and you can see that the first two beats are the dotted quarter plus the eighth note and then the next two beats are just two eighth notes. So all that together equals three beats. I always divide my three, four measure when I'm reading, I always try to see it as two plus one. Okay, next measure, again, dotted quarter note plus an eighth note, and then two more eighth notes. Here I got my two eighth notes, and then a quarter rest, and a quarter rest again. Here you don't really feel the 2 plus 1, but I still like to try and see it that way as I'm scanning a rhythm. Next measure, 2 quarter rests. Notice that in 3-4 time we don't use half rests, we use 2 quarter rests for 2 beats of rest. And then 1 um, beat with 2 eighth notes in it. Now here we're switching to piano dynamics, so we got to get softer. Now the next measure, I've got Quarter, dotted quarter note plus an eighth note and two eighth notes and then a dotted quarter plus an eighth and one quarter note. See it's two plus one always, two beats plus one. The dotted quarter notes really give this feeling. Okay, next bar I've got quarter rest, quarter note, quarter rest. Next line. Two quarter rests and now I'm coming in pianissimo, so extra quiet and on two eighth notes dotted quarter plus eighth and then a quarter next measure quarter note quarter rest for the first two beats and then two eighth notes and I'm to piano now next measure dotted quarter plus an eighth and then a quarter note next measure I've got a quarter note, quarter rest, and then two eighth notes as my third beat. And this one now changes the dynamic to mezzo piano. 
dotted quarter note plus an eighth note, and then two eighth notes. Dotted quarter plus an eighth note, and then one quarter note. And then two quarter notes plus one more quarter note. And your final measure is two beats only because there was a pickup at the very beginning. Okay, let's try doing this one. All right, I'm gonna set my metronome to 120. Here we go. T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T That was a good sight read. Again, if you have any spots where you messed up, just drill them until you get it, and then start to try the whole thing again. Rhythm B. My tempo is 132, and I'm starting pianissimo. My meter is 2-4. 2-4 meter does not divide. Those two beats are simply combined of one or two elements, and that's all. So my first measure is a quarter note plus two eighths at pianissimo. Second measure is a dotted quarter plus an eighth. Third measure, same thing. Fourth measure, quarter note plus two eighth notes, ta ti ti. Fifth measure, quarter note plus a quarter rest. Next measure, dotted quarter plus an eighth note. So there's that new element that we learned this week. And now we're piano dynamic. Next measure, two eighth notes and a quarter. Measure eight, two eighth notes and a quarter again. Next measure, measure nine, there's the new element, the dotted quarter plus an eighth note. And then quarter note, quarter rest. Next bar, we're at mezzo piano, quarter note, two eighth notes. Then look here, we've got our same uh, dotted quarter plus an eighth note element. Same thing, dotted quarter plus an eighth. Two quarter note, two eighth notes and two eighth notes. And then we got a quarter note and a quarter rest. All right, so now we're ready to give this one a try. It goes 132. Ta ti ti ta ti ta ti ta ti ti ta ta ti 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 ta ti ti ta ta ti ta ta ti ti ta ti ta ti 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 ta. Might have been a little louder than pianissimo and mezzo piano and stuff, but. Again, you want to gradually have those differences be clear. So you want contrast in your dynamics. All right, that's 7.1 rhythm. So let's go on to some melodies.